What's up, family? This is your girl, Chris Blue Nola, in the building with an audio that I heard today from Jay Prince. Um, and I'm sure you may have already heard it, but if not, I'm releasing it here on YouTube, my channel, since I'm going to be following this reading and um, this situation all the way through. So um, I did two readings, one on Jay Prince threatening Offset, and I did one about the fight between Offset and Quavo. Now, Jay Prince has come back out to reaffirm that he ain't the one to play with. So he has made a second threat towards uh, Offset. So go ahead and check, check this out. Thank you for coming through. I will see you guys um, later. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Drop your feedback in the comment section. I want to know how you really feel. And he looked like he's not playing, y'all. And that's why when I did that reading, that death card came out. I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. So hopefully they can resolve this situation. But this is looking a, a, a little bit tricky in my opinion. I just wish everybody could just get along, go in their corners, and mind their business, right? But the problem that I said in the reading, and I'm going to repeat this here, is that Jay Prince really does have someone or had someone who was coming back trying to tell him, trying to start some mess. And therefore, when, you know, he feels that Offset is trying to put uh, takeoffs murder on him and his family, and he's not having it. So this is where all of this is spiraling from. And I'm sure that he's also hearing what other people are saying and trying to insert his family in this situation. So let's go ahead and take a listen at this um, particular audio that he released. Um, and um, I will see y'all later. Um, thank you for coming through again. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. You know, I appreciate you when you do. Don't forget to drop your comment in the comment section. I want to know your thoughts. Hit that notification bell, guys. You know, I'm on this. I'm on it, baby. I'm on a situation. Um, and also, don't forget, I have that sale going on on my website. $60, six questions for February. I'm calling this like the Mardi Gras sale, okay? Check it out. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace and blessings. Love y'all. Bye. This clown offset suffering from being a fake motherfucker disease. He want to play victim now. But he was a volunteer when he spoke threats about me and my family name in his mouth about what he going to do. Why you didn't call me to talk is the twist he want to use. Tell lies in your woman here, nigga. I don't have time to listen to weak shit. Now you want to fake in front of a camera, trying to hide behind takeoff mother when I've shown nothing but respect for her and family. See, boy, you acting like you a part of a family that don't really fuck with you because you're a snake. Now you don't know me from a can of paint. Let me see if I can refresh your memory. Remember we talked when you got your ass whooped in Atlanta? You forgot? Remember when you called up on me and I came to L.A. and met with you because you was nervous about your wife performing because she had them issues about using the word flu. You forgot? Remember when you and Sauce Walker was beefing and you wanted me to stamp that bullshit? You forgot that too? I can go on, but I think you remember now. See, this is the reason I say blood make you kin and loyalty make you family because of motherfuckers like you that have stuck a knife in the back of the ones you call your brother. Explain. Since you're a real ass nigga, explain to the people the real reason why you weren't on that stage at the Grammys with Quavo who you call your brother for the tribute. You ain't man enough to do that because... You what we call a tender dick nigga. Take off, Quavo, and the family wasn't fucking with you for a while before it's passing and still don't fuck with you because you a rattlesnake nigga. Quavo been letting you make it because he got a good heart. It's consequences when you fuck with me. I don't have no heart for no snake and I give you what you ask for. And by the way, I don't think I'm no John Gotti. That ain't who I looked up to. It's no secret who my OG is. The flag you perpetrate with. Homie, you better go do what you do best. Write some rhymes and quit playing gangster. I don't want no trouble. Peace. 
All right, family, as you can hear, there was another threat that Jazz Prince made towards um, Offset. So, as I said, it can get worse before it can get better. And I think everybody needs to just, you know, just stay in a lane and respect each other and just keep it moving, keep it pushing. Um, but I wanted to bring this out just so you can hear it for yourself. Um, please make sure you check out the official reading that I did on J Prince making the, the first threat. Now this is the second threat. Um, and he seems like he ain't backing up or backing off. So, and as I told you, that's because uh, in the reading, um, he believes that uh, Offset is making statements about him and his family being involved with uh, Takeoff's murder. And it is getting back to him, as I said. So, um, and he seems to be pretty firm on that. Um, let's go ahead and uh, make sure you check out that official reading. I'm going to tag it, but have a great day. I have another reading I, I'm about to get into, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.